attracted me to Scotty was his positive, um, happy, energetic attitude. Scotty was the oak, he was the rock in our group of friends, and just so solid, nothing ever phased him one way or the other. Just such a strong faith and a strong character and strong integrity. College for Scotty meant the military academy. On 9-11, Scotty's focus, as well as that of his fellow students, changed to wanting to defend their nation. Prepared and ready to go, on October 13, 2004, Scotty Smiley said goodbye to Tiffany and along with his battalion, boarded a plane for Iraq. Scotty was, I mean, overtly a Christian, um, a great witness, had several guys, even his platoon that he was discipling. Um, but guys just knew that Scotty was, loved his job, was motivated, always had a good attitude. The mission of Scotty's battalion to ensure fair and safe elections in January of 2005. On April 6th, Scotty's squad encountered a vehicle that meant potential danger. I found a vehicle that looked suspicious. It was low in the back. Uh, it just had a single driver, male driver, and I fired, uh, I believe, two warning shots. And then he kept traveling, so I knew something was was weird. And about the second time I fired my second shot, he just lifted up his hands a couple times and Please back up, everybody. The right side of my body was paralyzed uh, because shrapnel went through my left eye and went into my brain. And then that's like pretty much all I remember. I just came in the room and said, hi, Scotty. He said, Tiffany. And then I just like laid my head on his chest and he just like petted my hair. And it's not like what I had thought it would be, but for like, that moment, it was so perfect. I remember going outside of Walter Reed and just like looking up to the sky. And I remember just thinking like, Lord, the only thing you can change is my attitude. And then just seeing like Scotty's faith and that it was rock solid gave me strength to support him. The President of the United States of America has awarded the Purple Heart Established by General George Washington at Newburgh, New York, August 7th, 1782, to First Lieutenant Scotty Michael Smiley, United States Army, for wounds received in action on 6 April 2005. Yeah, I, I wish like, I'd done something differently, but the fact that I did what I did and I probably saved several several people's lives because he didn't hit one of our vehicles and didn't take out like a whole platoon. Um, I'm, I'm happy with what I did and how I did it. And Tim Wilson, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I just look at the, the world differently because I have no sight, I can't see anything. And I, I just look at it, you know, with kind of a perfect view of everyone and how they are. And then it's just a sense of, uh, of paying attention to what's around me because I don't have the sight. I'm not able to pick up the colors, the, the objects, people moving and, and everything like that. So it's just a matter of picking up what I can pick up with um, my hearing, my smell, my taste, my touching. And if I don't get it by then, then I'll ask someone. He's teaching me swimming lessons right now. So he's quite comical in <laughs> the ways that he tries to teach me. Um, and the jokes he comes up with about how horrible I am. I only heard one and a half kids. But he is just um, witty in a sense that he, I don't know, he's just fun to be around, fun to hang out with, easygoing. He believes that Christ has given him a unique platform to talk about both the value of the military and the value of service, and also about Christ's love for, you know, for people, for, the, for humanity. Um, and why you need to be saved. Scotty really hadn't changed a whole lot, um, and that was the most refreshing thing after the attack. It's been so inspirational to all of us. He and his wife have really set the bar high for anybody who's gonna go through a trial in their life because of the way that they've dealt with it. I usually thank him for keeping me alive uh, and just being able to, to, to speak with him. Um, allow him to to be the author of my life and be the guy the, the man that I'm following and I'm willing to follow 
So like my prayers really haven't changed other than me just thanking them that I'm alive each and every day. I know that the Lord has done an awesome amount of work in my life and has kept me alive for a reason. I just ask that you guys would just sit back and listen to Mr. Graham's sermon and I know that uh, he will share the love of Jesus with you and with everyone else around you.